Hey there, welcome to my YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel, and this video is the Tarot and Astro Guidance for the first week of December 2019. So the first, the essential or uh, main thing to consider here is Jupiter changing signs, which is tomorrow, I mean in a few hours. And Jupiter leaves its home, its rulership of Sagittarius and moves into Capricorn. And then we have the stellium in Capricorn where we have Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, South Node and we have Cer Ceres, the asteroid of uh, nourishment like the Earth Mother, the Earth Goddess, Cer Ceres, okay. So work life for you is emphasized Aries, very, you will be put in the spotlight, you will figure out whatever issues you need to regarding work. The Fairlit is about creating alchemy. It is about working hard behind the scenes to manifest the life you want to. But the fight is not over because there are still uh, shadows lurking in the, in the dark and deep. But you can see the rainbow which is a blessing and you can see this druid. She's brewing this, this wondrous portion which is alchemical which is magical okay and this is major arcana this is very uh, a, a very profound card because this speaks of patience okay with this card you have to be patient because you cannot uh change things uh, quickly okay it's, it's it's about having uh understanding that things take time it is about uh, allowing the inner and the outer to flow harmoniously okay it is a connection to spirit if you ask me it it means a uh, very successful and harmonious engagement with life right now okay so aries it looks to be very promising magic peace alchemy creativity but patience is required okay uh remember that everything doesn't happen in one go uh, but you generally are blessed right now with a deep sense of peace from the love laughter of charity not just about receiving but when you really truly understand how hard you've had to work to manifest this abundance you are ready to share and not just share in the sense oh i have so and so to evade tax i want to give so and so to charity no the pelican cuts her own breasts open to feed her young. So this is a very profound symbol of, of sharing that you must understand Aries. Okay, being the infant of the zodiac, you know, sharing doesn't come easy because an infants understand self-preservation. Uranus. You could travel, you could meet someone new, you could go to foreign cultures, you could learn some something like philosophy or change the way you view the world. Keep a watch from a vantage point because certain a, a certain amount of turbulence is coming your way. You are not done with, 7 is a very erratic number. 7 of 1 is about waiting in the, in, in the correct position for the attack to happen so you know you are prepared be prepared i think the key word for you right now that spirit is telling me taurus is be prepared have hope without hope nothing would exist have hope in the process okay because you can feel quite battered uh gemini we have the new moon in on 12th in your sign a uh, full moon sorry you just had the new moon on the 26th in your polarity sag so what can we expect for Gemini? What can we expect for Gemini spirit? Okay, two of wands is a doorway that's opened up for you, a pathway, but you refuse to walk through it. Definitely speaks of choice, creative choice, uh, but you're not willing to look at it. You're not willing to walk through that doorway. So something is blocking your energy, Gemini. Hopefully with this a uh, full moon in your sign a lot of things will come to illumination uranus in your 12th house cannot be easy emperor aries gemini a structure if if you've been feeling like this the emperor can come into your life and solve this this duality that you're experiencing emperor is solid with his understanding of how the world works so yeah 
a lot of change and movement for you, Gemini. Now, Cancerians, so much the stellium in your seventh house, relationships, long-term long relationships like your marriage are changing forever. You are able to manifest that abundance, Cancerians, nines, beautiful nine of pentacles, a profound God of abundance and manifestation. And really living the life you deserve, living the life you work so hard for with, uh, with the North Node in your sign. This is definitely about awakening to your soul's purpose, which is healing, which is um, helping people, Cancerians. The fourth um, sign of foundation. So nine of um, pentacles are earth. They are, they are sextile to your energy. Water and earth are friends. So... Uh, nine of cups is definitely an achievement and realization of your dreams so let's see what manifests for you this first week something profound for sure the moon is your card cancer listen to your intuition something is hidden if you figure that out you will live the life you want and you will achieve things you never even dreamt of cancerians wake up to your destiny leo Let's see what we have for you, Leo. Sagittarius is your fifth. So romance and stuff has been lit, hopefully. Princess of Swords, a new understanding of a subject. Really looking and analyzing and scrutinizing and studying. Maybe even how your thoughts work, how you communicate, how you, you speak your mind, all of that. Okay, a sure shot, new way to communicate, Leo. Okay. Major Arcana, we have the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Okay, now Virgo. Capricorn is trying your sign. It's your fifth house. It's cardinal. Earth, ruled by Saturn. There you have the stellium. So, creativity. New ideas, new inspiration, new way of looking at life, an emotional uh, a step towards something more fulfilling, you know, trusting nature, surrendering to love, surrendering to vulnerability, not being over analytical, over nitpicky, okay, and alienating people. Princess of Cups is, is definitely the start of something new in when it comes to your uh, intuition, imagination, water activates all these things. Temperance is a card of Sagittarius in reverse. So Jupiter may not be able to give you the sort of abundance you desire in the fifth houses yet because Saturn Pluto sits there with the south node. But Jupiter will definitely increase your fifth house uh, creative pursuits and if relationships were difficult and the romance was not walking into your life, it will right now. Libra, what can I say? This has been quite profound. Sagittarius is your second house of income where Jupiter has been. Now moving into your third house of communication where we have the stellium. Siblings, short distance travel. Listen to your intuition, that nagging voice that you want to suppress because it is telling you something, Libra, something profound, something you need to tune into, something you need to focus on, something that is that needs to die and your intuition is telling you what you need to let go what needs to die but you're not listening it's your third house pluto sitting in your third house okay a lot of change two major arcanas we had the death and the high priestess for libra scorpio mars is in your sign with mercury now moving full speed what do we have for you five of cups in reverse this is a card of lack of gratitude, lamentation, loss, not looking at life's blessings. And believe me, when this is reversed, you're not even willing to uh, see what you built or what you had or the relationship that you had because everything seems to be a problem. Nothing seems enough. And if you're going through that, um, Scorpio, use the Martian energy and work through that debris because now is a beautiful time of manifestation okay move forward with your new ideas and uh, watch the wasted opportunities 
become healing processes, become, you know, tools of healing. Lot of Sagittarius for you, Scorpio, which is your second house of income. Something wondrous may come this week when it comes to your earning uh, situation, your value. All right, uh, Sagittarius, what can I say? Uh, Jupiter finally leaves your sign, moves into your second house of income. Time to grow your wealth. And uh, you must allow whatever needs to go must now go. You cannot hold on to it. Okay, because that is only going to create stagnation. And you are not one for stagnation, Sagittarius. So let it go. It's your card of Scorpio, which is your 12th house, where you have Mars right now. Interesting. Card of Cancer, Sagittarius. And this is so profound because this is about moving forward. But understanding the, the duality. Uh, eighth house for you is cancer so something hidden surfaces for you this first month but remember the chariot definitely is about going forward with whatever your query is but to understand that you need to fasten the horses looks almost like he's you know moving those horses with his willpower so sometimes it can be you know it, it can take a tremendous amount of willpower to solve what needs to be solved now uh, we've got capricorn where we've had all this capricornian activation so let's see what we have for you the sun in reverse you may feel like a loss of innocence with so much planned reactivity a loss of um, joy in some place because you know uh, when you have Saturn Pluto in your sign it's not always joyous but you understand this Saturn signature because Saturn is after all your uh, exoteric as well as your soul ruler so you understand the Saturnian um, holding it back but this is definitely it also could mean inner child healing but this is going to turn around because now Jupiter is in your sign and Jupiter is always giving blessings that's why jupiter is the greater benefic and listen to your intuition capricorn it never fails you okay now aquarius what do we have for aquarius this first week of november beautiful home and hearth peace uh, Uranus is in your fourth house, Taurus. So changing things up. Things have been quite uh, difficult maybe, but things are going to change now. Okay, things are going to change. And Jupiter also moves into an earth sign, so we're trying Uranus soon in Taurus. So home and hearth, solid. A travel maybe, very possible Aquarius. Okay, manifest things you never thought of. Whatever needs to die, you must let it die. Do not cling on because then you will be alienating this energy. All right? Now, Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what I have for you. This cards are heavy with energy now. I've been working with them for a while. So, constricted, confined, unable to move forward but only if you realize that it's not a life-threatening situation yes you are in a sticky position for sure but there is a way out and it will come to you it is definitely going to come to you pisces but for right now you you feel confined restricted unable to move uh, blindfolded a new beginning awaits you pisces Believe me, a new beginning, a profound, beautiful new beginning. Thank you so much. Um, don't be too circumspect and don't uh, label or judge anything too harshly, Pisces. Don't ignore or escape either. But just, just be like the fool. Start a new journey. And thank you very much for being here. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Let's end this session with a beautiful chant. 
So <laughs> I was thinking of which chant to do. Okay, um Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha 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 Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha